Hi friends, I hope you guys are doing amazing. We are here for another lesson of social emotional learning this week. This week's lesson we will be learning on how to play fair, different ways to play fair. What does it mean for you to be playing fair? And what does it mean for someone else to be playing fair? Because if our friends are not playing fair or if we're not playing fair, do you think anyone's gonna wanna play with us? No, probably not. And if other people aren't playing fair, how does that make you feel? Do you feel good inside when someone is not being fair to you? No, it does not make us feel good at all. When someone is being unfair, what does that mean? Does that mean they're being nice and they're being a good friend? Or does that mean that they're not being very nice and they're not making others feel good? What does that mean, you guys? Yes, when someone is not playing fair, they're not making others feel good. They're not being nice friends. And what type of friends do we want to be? We want to be good friends. Yes, that's right. And we want to make others feel warm and happy inside. And playing fair is how we do that. Good job. So that will be today's lesson. Before we, we get started, I want to do a little brain builder with you guys. I want to get those minds moving and thinking. We will be playing my turn, your turn, remember? It's kind of like Simon says, I will be telling you two motions to do. But remember, you cannot do those motions until I say your turn. I know sometimes we get excited and just want to jump up and do them, but we have to wait until it's our turn. Now, let's remember, also playing fair. So go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you guys are ready to get started on our game. All right, I see tons of thumbs. That means we are ready. So go ahead and stand up. All righty, guys. So I want you to do hands on your elbows, hands on your ears. Your turn. Good job, friends. Okay, so hands on your eyes, hands on your knees. Oh, remember, not till I say, your turn. Good job, you guys, good job. Okay, we'll do one more. Snorkel, jump. Your turn. Good job, friends. That makes me so happy because when you guys are participating, when I say your turn, that means you are listening with your ears. Okay, you're also using self-talk to remind yourself. Good job, and that makes me so, so happy. So go ahead and have a seat, get comfy, and let's go ahead and begin our lesson, friends. So who can tell me what we learned in last week's lesson? Because it ties into this week's lesson. What was last week's lesson about? Yeah, how to invite others to play with you. And this week's lesson is what? Do you guys remember? Fair ways to play. So that is why last week's lesson was very important. Well, all of our lessons are important, but last week's lesson also ties into this week's lesson. So last week's lesson was about having empathy for others and knowing how to invite others to play with us. Okay, so this week's lesson, like I said, we're still learning how to play fair. And playing fair is having empathy for others. And what does empathy mean? What does that mean if we have empathy for other people? What does that mean? You're right, we're caring about others' feelings. We don't want our friends to feel sad. We want our friends to feel happy or even people we don't know. We want them to feel happy, and that is having empathy, and also playing fair with others. So everything we're learning is tying everything together. So if we don't have empathy for others, are we gonna play fair? No, we won't. And do we wanna play fair? Yes, we do, and we want others to play fair with us. So I have a song for you guys called Playing fair. 
is another song for this lesson, and I want you guys to go ahead and watch the lesson and think about how to play fair and how would you want someone to play fair with you? Okay, so go ahead and get ready to watch our new song. When we both want the new, new toy right at the same, same time. When we both start to grab, grab it, what, what can we do? We can share, we can trade, we can take turns with each other. We can share, we can trade, let's take turns with one another now. La, 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 la. Red paint, right at the same, same time. When we both start to grab, grab it, what, what can we do? We can share, we can trade, we can take turns with each other. We can share, we can trade, let's take turns with one another now. La 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 To grab, grab it. What, what can we do? We can share, we can trade, we can take turns with each other. We can share, we can trade. Let's take turns with one another now. La 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 la. If we want to be good, good friends, have fun, fun together. Sing, sing them out loud We can share, we can trade We can take turns with each other We can share, we can trade Let's take turns with one another now La 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 We can share, we can trade We can take turns with each other We can share Did you guys love the song, the new song? Yes, I love it too. But what did you guys learn most importantly by watching our new song? What did you guys learn? How do you play fair? Yes, we're sharing. We are taking turns. Yes, these are things that will teach us to play fair. Because if you think about it, if you had a friend that was playing with a toy that you really, really wanted, and they weren't taking turns? Is that playing fair? Mm -mm. We all want to have a turn at something, so we have to learn to take turns. That is playing fair and sharing all those things together, you guys. We're learning how to play fair. So I'm glad the song helped you guys as well. So now that we have watched our song, now it is time for our story and our discussion. So be sure to pay attention. So in this story and discussion, I have two friends in the photo beside me. I have Matthew and I have Fiona. Fiona has two big dinosaurs and Matthew has three little dinosaurs. So they are in class together and they are having free time. So they're each being able to play with dinosaurs, yes. But by looking at the photo, by looking at Matthew and also looking at Fiona, what can we tell by Matthew's feelings? How do you think Matthew feels right now? If you just look at his face, what do you think is going on? Who is not playing fair? Can you guys tell by just by looking at the photo? Yeah, it looks like Fiona is not the one playing fair. And then what could you guys come up with by looking at Matthew's face? Yeah, he looks a little sad. Yeah, he looks a little droopy, his head's down, his cheeks are up and smiling and having an amazing time playing. Why do you think Matthew may be feeling sad? They both have toys, right? 
Yeah, but why do you think Matthew feels sad? You guys aren't sure? Well, so Matthew's feeling sad because he has the little dinosaurs and Fiona has the big dinosaurs. And no one wants to just play with the little ones all the time, right? Mm -mm. So yeah, Matthew's feeling a little sad because he wants to turn at the big dinosaurs. So how is Matthew first gonna solve this problem? How do we solve problems? Remember that word that has four letters that we've gone over before on solving problems? What's that word? He's gotta go through all of his steps. Ah, yeah, the word is step. Yes, good job. But do you guys remember what each letter means? I'll give you guys a couple seconds. Think, think, think. What does the word step mean? Because step, Matthew has to go through each step to figure out this problem. So what was S again? First, we have to say the problem. Yeah, guys. And what is the problem? Fiona is having all the big dinosaurs and is not sharing. Okay, now, what is T? What does Matthew have to do that represents T? Think of a what? Think, think, what does he gotta think of? Think of a solution. Yes, good job. He's gotta come up with a solution to solve that problem. Yeah, good job, you guys. So, now that he's figured out S and T, what does E mean again? He, yeah, he has to explore the consequences because he could easily just go grab those big dinosaurs, but would that end up in a good consequence if he did that? Probably not, huh? So he would have to come up with a positive solution because if you have a positive solution, you'll have a positive consequence. So maybe he could talk to Fiona or he could talk to his teacher. Now it could end out something positive, okay? Now, P, what does P mean? What does Matthew have to do to solve his problem? Yeah, he's got to pick the best solution. So with E, he's thinking about, okay, if I do this, I might get in trouble. If I talk to Fiona, maybe I won't get in trouble. So he's got to pick the best solution. What should he pick? Yeah, maybe just talking to Fiona. He could tell Fiona, like, can I have a turn on the big dinosaurs? We can trade and go back and forth, or we can play together. Yes, and do you see how each letter can help Matthew and even yourself solve your problem on how to play what? Yeah, how to play fair, you guys. Do you guys see how everything ties in together? Yes, because when we're problem solvers on how to play fair, we can fix our problem all on our own. So, once Matthew went through all the letters a step and he was able to solve his problem, he was able to feel better because at the end, he ended up talking to Fiona and they ended up playing together and they were trading back and forth forth and they ended up having an amazing time playing during their free time. So do you see how solving problems can also be plain fair? Because it's not fair to hog toys, right? Mm -mm. Not fair at all. We want our friends to share and we want to be able to share with our friends as well because we want to be good friends. Yeah. So that is our story and discussion. Now I want to hear about a time where you guys maybe had an incident where someone did not play fair with you. And I want to know how you felt inside when that person was doing that. Okay, so go ahead and put your thinking caps on and I'll go ahead and put my timer on and you guys will go ahead and share. So think, think, think. When was a time when someone wasn't nice to you and didn't play fair? And how did that make you feel inside? Okay, so go ahead and start thinking.
Okay, let's hear it. When was there a time where someone was not playing fair and how did you feel? Go ahead and share. All right, yes, I heard so many different stories and oh, that makes me feel so sad that some friends or even siblings were not playing fair, they weren't sharing toys, because you guys shared with me that it made you super sad, like they didn't like you, or you weren't good enough to play with them, and that makes me feel so sad. But knowing how that makes you guys feel, how it made you guys feel sad, now you know if you guys didn't like that feeling, do you think someone else would like that feeling if you did it to them? No, yeah, you guys are right. You guys have experienced this feeling of someone else not playing fair and being mean, not letting you join in on a game or not sharing a toy. And that didn't make you guys feel good. But now you guys know what it feels like when someone is not playing fair. And we have learned today how to play fair. So now you guys can always learn and teach others how to play fair and how to be a problem solver as well when playing fair. So what are some ways to play fair again? Sharing your toys, yes. Maybe trading them back and forth. You could do like a timer. There's all sorts of ways to play fair and make yourself feel good and make others feel good just as much. Because remember, do we want to be good friends? Yes, we want to be good friends and we want good friends. Also siblings as well. We have to teach younger siblings to play fair as well because if we don't teach them, they'll grow up not wanting to share either and playing fair and we don't want that. So. That's your guys' homework. If you guys have a younger sibling or maybe just another friend or an older sibling or whoever, I want you to teach them how to play fair. Can you guys do that? Teach them everything we learned today? All right, I cannot wait to hear about it next week. So this concludes another lesson and I had so much fun with you guys today. We learned so much and you guys are doing amazing and you guys know how to play fair now and it makes me so happy that you guys are already amazing friends. So I hope you have an amazing day and I hope you are taking everything I'm teaching you and working on it with others. So I hope you have a great day and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye guys.